I just picked myself up a Thrustmaster T300 RS wheel. It's beautiful. It's so strong. It feels, it's so much fun to fight against it in Gran Turismo. Now I wanted to mount it to this really sturdy desk that I've got, but the Thrustmaster clamp that comes with it just won't cut it. And also this table has a weird kind of wooden lip underneath it, which makes any Thrustmaster mount not gonna work. So to put it to the table, I had to mount it properly like you would, drill a couple of holes. I'm gonna show you how I did it. Let's go. I've recently started my sim racing journey, which means I've signed on to spend a lot of money on controllers. Now there's a phrase that I've learned in sim racing, which is called buy once, cry once. And it means get the most expensive thing you can straight away, don't mess around. So before I got this beautiful thing, I went to the thrift store and I got this Thrustmaster Xbox 360 wheel online, solder's broken, I opened it up, just reset the wires, made sure everything was okay, works perfectly. Eight bucks, but no force feedback. And incidentally, any of these Thrustmaster wheels that don't have force feedback, this is what's providing the tension inside the regular bungee cord. This is all that when you get to the edge, this is what's giving you the resistance. Those sticks are cool. They're a good price. They're a good way to get into it before you, well, cry once. I was attaching both of these old Thrustmaster wheels using just the regular desk clamp and it kind of works. Uh, you just can't put much downward pressure because it hasn't got, it's not fully gripping onto the table. And when it comes to the T300, it just won't work. The thing's too powerful. I need to really bolt this thing down. Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you, I found a cheap Logitech wheel at thrift store as well. Incidentally, Logitech wheels attach perfectly to this table. But I didn't buy a Logitech, did I? I bought a Thrustmaster. This table that I've got is an Ikea Bjerkuden, 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 Bjerkuden. And it's stable, but it's not precious to me. So I'm gonna drill holes in it, mount it like this would be mounted to a regular SIM rig. Thrustmaster provide technical documents on their website showing the dimensions and layout of the screw holes. Now I'm kind of winging this install, so I'm not really sure what's the right bolt length or what's gonna fit best. So I just bought a bunch of stuff from the hardware store. All this was still only about three bucks. The size of the screw is M6, which means it's six millimeters across. The holes need to be made 62 millimeters from the edge and spaced 135 millimeters apart. Now that just about clears the lip on the underside of the table, but I'm not really sure. I think it will. The first thing I did was rather than six mil, which is the size of the bolts, I made an eight mil hole. It just gave it a little bit more wiggle room. Once I got the holes through, they were right on the edge of the lip. And I knew that if I was gonna fit my screw in, I was going to need to cut out and to chomp out some of the wooden lip at the bottom where it meets the table. I don't have that many tools. I've got this cheap drill. Yeah. Then I thought maybe I could just use a screw, so I'm gonna need room for a wrench. So I got the angle grinder out, started to grind into the table. This may have been overkill. But it doesn't matter, it's all under the table. But I have made an absolute dog's breakfast. So now I'm trying to stick this onto the bench. I've drilled holes, I've made more permanent, terrible modifications to this table, does it even fit? Yeah, I've got two long bolts in. Uh, well, I have one long bolt in, but they do fit. So that bit's good, but I still can't easily screw them in from underneath. I'm gonna have to keep working on that. Next up, I'm gonna try these. They go in with the screwdriver rather than the big wrench. Maybe that might be a more convenient solution. Let's see. This looks better. So the screw with just a Phillips head end because then the screw can reach up there and lock it in nice and place. This might not be such of a bad solution and I've got a little track that the drill left me there. Things are looking up. 
square washers there just to round that off. And so it's easier to get in with the Phillips head screwdriver. That's a bit easier than trying to stick a whole wrench in there. And it works. It is in, it's the right length. Let's talk about the length of the bolts for a moment because you can't screw too far into the wheelbase. Thrustmaster recommend against that. Now they say in their documentation, you only, should only screw 12 millimeters into the base. That's pretty short, short, short. And I tried that and it does work, but I decided just to screw in a little bit further. Uh, my test found that you could go up to 40 mil into the base, so I went for two and a half instead. So I'm using these five mil Phillips head screws. Two and a half is the desk, two and a half go into the Thrustmaster, and this is, this is really sturdy. Short. Sure. This is supposed to be some sort of quick mount system that I've come up with here. So let's time how long it takes to put the wheel on and take it off the table. That's the end of the episode. Thanks very much for watching. It's really cool to feel the strong force feedback. It's on this heavy desk. You can really fight against the wheel. I recommend that you get one yourself if you've been thinking about it. My name's Zez, Zez Retro. Please like and subscribe and also follow the Cathode Ray podcast with my friend Steve. I'll see you next time.